Hi, Gabe DeRusso with the Majestic Rider. So I'm on the Missouri Fox Trotter Trace, and today we're working on his flat walk, which I did, and now we're going to our Fox Trot, and then we're going to see if maybe we can get something like a saddle gate or slow rack out of him, because the owner doesn't want a faster Fox Trot because she doesn't like the bounce in it so much. So we're going to go. He can be a little bit stubborn. Uh, we're going to go to our fox trot, and we're going to do that for about three to five minutes. I'm going to see how tired he gets. Because to do the other gait, I don't want him too tired, or he's probably going to go towards a trot. So with the fox trot, I'm just trying to keep his head kind of level with the horn. I don't want it to get too low, because if it gets lower, he gets on the hard trotty side, and then there will be more of a bounce. Okay? So if you have a fox trotter and you're like, he keeps getting bouncy when I go faster, that means you're going towards a trot and you want to half halt, sit back, lift their head up a little bit, and go slower. Because it means they don't have the muscle to hold that gait faster. Okay, So you got to help them and build that muscle up, and that takes time, patience, and workouts. They don't get it on their own, so you got to work with them. So that's a little low. So I just kind of pick his head up by lifting my hands up some. Okay. Now you'll see at times now I'm bouncing a little bit more. It's not bad, but I don't want it to get any bouncier. So I want to keep his head up a little bit because if his head goes low again, it's going to get bouncier on me because he's going to get more towards a trough. So the fox trot, each horse is different, but it's not, you know, super speedy gait. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be sure-footed that you can ride in the mountains. And why would you be flying around in the mountains? You have terrain and things to get over. So it's not supposed to be super fast. So if you see somebody going super fast with a fox trotter and they're bouncing pretty much, they're going more towards the trot. That's not so comfortable, but everybody's different. Usually, everybody wants more speed. So, as we get more speed with him again, we're going to try and get a different gait. The saddle gait that we'll be going for, that's a little bit more lateral, so he's on the trotty side. So, I'm going to have to try to bring his head up and make him a little bit more lateral, and we'll see how it goes. He might get something or he might not. Some fox trotters are so wired towards that trot that... Some of them won't do that saddle gait that very well, or it takes a lot of time and patience. So again, he'd rather carry his head down, at least in the arena, you know, on the trail. He might have more stuff to look at, so he might not bring his head down as much, but we want to keep it up a little bit. And this is the horse that's a little lazy, so I'm not asking him with a lot of leg, but if I ask him and he doesn't respond, I immediately go to my stick to tell him to keep going. You don't want to nag your horse, so they'll just ignore you. So same thing, it's hard. A lot of these horses, when they're slow, what do we start doing? We start clucking all the time. You'll even hear me do it, and then I hear it on the video, and I'm like, oh my God, why did I do that? So you got to be careful that you don't make them immune to your aids and your voice, you know, so try to be aware of how much you're clucking. If you're clucking all the time, it means you should be doing something else because it means that they're just ignoring that cluck and they don't believe you. So there it's just a little bit more bouncy. I'm still not getting air, and I still can't post to it. I just tried to post there just so you could see. But... If you can post to it, like I can do it, but it's hard, and then he's slowing down. If you can post to it pretty easily, you're not fox trotting, you're doing a trot. So you shouldn't be able to post. That's a good way to check if you're trotting, if you're unsure. Okay, so we're going to go around one more time. Because again, we want to practice this, but I don't want to wear him out, that then he doesn't want to try the next gate for me. 
And this guy, you know, the lazy ones, you, you got to be careful with how long you rest them. So some of them, if you rest them too long, it's really hard to get them started again. So it's better just to rest a little bit so they get the idea and then get right back to work and just get it over quickly. So now I'm just going to relax, see how quick he stops, because he always wants to be unstopped, don't you, buddy? He's like, stop telling them about me. Okay, so now we're going to go the other way. We already did our turn on the forehands, so we're going to do our turn on the haunches. Okay. Now we're going to box trot this way. So I'm going to add both my legs, sit up tall. He's trotty, so I'm going to put my weight kind of back in my seat pockets a little bit and then concentrate on getting his head up and sitting up tall since I know I'm on the video. I don't want to slump over. Okay. So as I go around and I'm fox trotting them, I'm also working on straightness, making sure his head doesn't get too low and this doesn't get too bouncy. And you see me always looking at my watch because I'm always timing it. Okay. I time it because it gives me a reference and it makes sure I don't work the horse too little or too much because I know how much time I'm putting in each time. There were a little trotty, so pick his head up a little bit and just slow it down. So, you know, if you've been coming in and I'm doing the flat walk for five minutes and I'm doing the fox trot for five minutes, well, that's 20 minutes so far of gating. And then if I want to in, add in a canner or another gate, and a lazy horse, they're going to be tired. They're like, I've been moving for a half hour. You don't do any walking, lady. You just keep me moving. So then they're not going to like it so much. So as I added in this other gate, then I cut down how much I was flat walking him for. I warmed him up good, but I, I was flat walking him actually like 10 minutes each direction. So we just made it down to five minutes and made that shorter. So again, he box trots very nicely, not very speedy. speedy. That's okay, because again, most people get these horses. They're not going for speed, or they would just get a racking horse. But this is very smooth. It's just a soft, up and down feeling, like a quarter horse's jog, but it's faster. But it's the same sensation. So if you're like, I don't know what a fox trot feels like, at least to me, that's what it feels like. It feels like you got a nice horse that's trotting very nicely and it has a smooth sitting trot without suspension. Okay. Now let's go around another time and then we'll give this big guy a break and then see if we can get him going again. Now I try not to add too many new things in at a time. I don't know if the owners want to canter or not, but... So this week I'm going to add in trying to get a saddle gate, and then next week we'll add in some little canter steps. So he'll have a basis of it all, and then they can finish it how they want it, but he'll have all the things he needs to. And then I like to start doing the stuff out on trail, and that's what I'm going to do. But I'm in here today so we could videotape and you could see. Okay, so now we're going to stop. Good boy. And we're going to give him a break for a minute. Okay. Here, I'll talk a little bit about his bit. So he has a Milo bit in with a large port. And that gives him a lot of tongue relief. When he came, we had him in a snaffle. And he kept trying to put his tongue over the snaffle. So I tried a bunch of different bits. And uh, he put his tongue over every one. And then we put a nose band on him. And I could tell he just hated it. So I put this one in. And it's a longer shank because that's what I found at the moment. And he was fine in it. You'll see he's mouthing it and playing it around, but he doesn't put his tongue over the bit anymore. And then I finally found that I had a shorter one of these, and I put that in, but then he decided he really liked that one because he could grab the shank and get the reins and the shank in his mouth. And you'll see this bit has a little squiggle to it, so it brings the bit farther away from his mouth, so he can't grab the reins so much. So this is the bit that he's gone best in, and a lot of people will be like, well, look at that shank, and that's severe. This is the one he's happiest in. Again, we started with the snaffle, but this is the one he had the least problems with. So I use the bit that helps the horse gait, but also that the horse is the most comfortable in, and they tell me what that is. So he's a playful guy here, but this is what he likes. So now we're going to do another turn on the haunches. 
To do this, you're going to bring your hands to the inside. You push with your outside leg, which is my left leg, and you push right by the girth. And you're trying to get the horse to move its shoulders, but keep its hindquarters in the same place. And you might be like, why? Why do we need to do that? Because you want to be able to... Con now he didn't do it well there. So now he's moving his hindquarters, so we're going to do the whole thing again. You want to be able to control your horse's shoulders, because when you do S-turns on the trail, if you can't, those horses sometimes will go off the trail. And if you know how to do this, then if your horse spins, you can counteract the spin. Now, see, he told me, hey, you stopped a little too long, and now I don't want to go back to work. So what I'm going to do is take him up through his gears to get his mind back. So I'm going to flat walk. Then we're going to foxtrot, and then we're going to try to see if we can get a saddle gate. Since he's on the trotty side, we don't want his head down so much, or he's probably going to hit a hard trot. We want his head up, and I might have to turn his head a little to the side. That works with some of the horses. So flat walk. Now let's foxtrot. And we're only going to do this a little bit till I get a pretty good gait, and then I'll keep giving him a break. Okay, so we got our fox shot. Now I'm going to bring his head up and tap him and go faster. See him screwing around? Good job. Oh, so right there. Thanks for yanking on me, butthead. <laughs> but right there he was smooth and he was fast and there was no bounce at all. And that's what we're trying to get now. I want him to know that's the right answer, but this horse I can't rest too long because he's going to screw around. See that? So I'm going to go right back to going forward. So I'm going to pick his head up. We don't want the fox drop, but he's like, I don't want to do this. But you'll see I'm sitting way back. Now he's trotting. Now he's trying to run me into the fence. Your horse might do that too. So I'm making weird noise just to make him go forward. Now he's a little trotty. Now he's cantering. He's doing all sorts of stuff, isn't he? He's like, I was fine fox trotting, but I don't want to do this. Now I'm going to stop. Oh. So we got going. It was really bad. Then he had a hissy fit. Then he actually did it. And that's the way it goes sometimes. you got to know, can you push them through it? And again, I made sure his flat walk was good and his fox trot was good before I tried this. I didn't try to get them all at the same time. Okay, now I'm going to do one more time because three is the lucky number, isn't it, Chase? He's like, three, up yours. <laughs> all right, so let's go forward. I'm going to sit back, try to keep his head up. Remember, if you see me bouncing, then I'm doing more of a fox trot. With our saddle gate, we should get a little wiggle or just be smooth. Now, he's screwing around with me. Right there, it was smooth, but now I didn't stop in time, so I'm going to keep going. Right there. Oh, good job! What a good boy! That was it! Now, he has no idea what I'm doing, so I'm not going to do a lot of it. I'm not going to beat him up. I'm not going to spur him. I'm not going to yank his head up and kick him and do crazy stuff. I'm not going to stick crazy stuff on his feet to get it. I just want to see, do you have the talent to do it, and can you do a couple steps? And that's all I'm trying to get from you today. And he's like, oh, no, I'm not doing it the other way. Yes, he is. So... <laughs> We're going to try again in a minute, and again with Trace, the trick is don't rest too long. The longer you rest with him, the harder it is to get him going again. Okay, so realize what your horse is and how to get it. I'm not making him do anything super hard. Okay, so we're going to do another turn on the haunches. So remember, this is just like a spin, but a slow spin. Now, he cheats, didn't he? He moved his front end, then he moved his back end, and that's not what it is. So it's just moving the shoulders. There we go. So if they do it wrong, you got to make them do it again. Otherwise, they think that's the right answer. All right, so here we go. Going into our fox shot. Now we're going to speed up. So sit back, bring his head up a little bit. Give him a little tap. He's annoyed. 
Good boy. Well, now just a couple of steps. Now he ain't got me. So I'm going to give him a break, but if he yanks on me, I'm going to back him up and make him give to the bit because he shouldn't yank on me just because he's pissed off. He's a child. He doesn't pay his bills. We have to pay his bills. Yeah. So don't accept mediocre. Okay. I don't expect perfection, but he knows he's not supposed to pull on me. Okay. Now we're going to go again. He's like, what? I said the lucky numbers three times. So let's go. So squeeze, sit back. Bring fox trot. Now bring his head up. Tap, 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 because he's seen a butt. Now I'm going to stop. Whoa. Now stop. Now, it's not very fast. Now, he just pulled. So I just hold and back him up. Don't get in a pulling fight. They will win. Okay? So if they do that, if they yank on you, don't accept it because you're starting a bad habit. Just hold. Ask them to back off. Lots of horses do this. It's just little temper tantrums. Like, I'm not doing that. And the faster you correct it and say, yeah, yeah, you are. Unless you got your own job and your own money, I guess that's what you're going to have to do for me. Okay? Because again, I haven't worked him that long. We haven't been in here hours or anything. Now we're going to go before he doesn't want to do it again. And that's just the process of being off and testing people. So if you can't do this, you might have to get your trainer or your friend who can ride to do it. Because they won't get intimidated as much. Yeah, he kind of had it. And then he started cantering and screwing around. Now he's throwing his head. There we go. Whoa. And that is three times. So I immediately get off. Good boy. Even though you might be thinking, wow, he was a butt today. He wasn't. He just said, I don't want to do that new thing. It's hard. Why are you making me go faster? Because it's so fun. It's so fun. Yes, it's so fun. Okay, they're just testers. That's all. They're just like children. So you just got to show them that's what they got to do. All right. And that's the start of our saddle gate. So... Apparently he can do it, so we're going to be working on it and get it somewhat decent before he comes home. Okay, hope that helps.